So in this video I will show you how to use our complete file. This is current as of July 2021. Um, this is replacing a tutorial from 2019. There have been some changes with Cricut and I just wanted to update the video. So I'm going to show you, um, well first I want to explain that if you download some of our files, I think it's about 150 now, do not have complete files. What the complete file is, so if here's an old file, whoops, that's a new file. So I'm going to bring this to the middle here so you can see it. This is an unzip file. That's an older file. If I unzip it, you'll see these photos, and this is the swing card set. And uh, the PDF file, uh, that's it's a reference. If we go in here, you'll notice that there's no complete files folder. So that means this one doesn't have a complete file, so you'll have to upload all the individual files. And we have another tutorial on that, so this is not what we're going over. What I'm trying to slowly do is convert all files to have a complete file. So here's a version of a card that, or a file that has it. It's called the Reindeer Stable Card. So if it has it, um, one thing is in the PDF file, I'll bring this up real quick, it'll show the size of the complete file. So it'll show it in here. And then of course you still have the, the uh, individual files. That's for people that want to upload them individual, individually or have to because they have a different uh, die cutter. So let's go close that. And if you go under SVG files, where all the SVG files are typically stored, you'll have the complete files folder. So these two are just separate files that you can just do separately, but the complete file allows you to upload it all at once. So there'll always be two versions in there, unless there's multiple versions of a file, but basically there's gonna be two versions. So for this one, we have, a com it says complete, and when it says complete without solid lines, that means there's dashed lines that you can cut. Um, if you have a score tool, if you want to try to score it with a score tool or a scoring wheel, you can use the complete solid line. So that's what you'd use for Cricut. So you still have to um, change it to score, else it will cut it, um, and you have to attach it. So let me show you how to upload it, just and get to use the file. So you want to click on New Project. Then click on Upload. You can hit Upload Image and you can manually browse to it on your PC, but I have the window open right here. This is my preferred method because so, it's so much quicker, is to drag and drop. So I'm going to take the one that's solid lines. You see the only difference is that is for, you only want to use that if you have a score tool. Otherwise it'll cut through the, where the score, the folded score line should be. So now we have that, and you can go ahead and change the name as you want. I click on Upload. Then I'm going to click on, once I uploaded, click on it to insert it. Then, I, you know, it doesn't hurt these days to open up the PDF and just verify the width. And the reason I'm saying that is Cricut can make any change and it's broken a couple of my size. It, it, I've had some sizing issues after, they, after they've updated. So if we just move it down, it's 17408. 17408 is the complete file. So we know it's good. And I'm only stating this again because currently as of this video is working just fine. But in the past, they've made changes which have essentially um, broken our sizing. So this has happened to many designers. So let me go ahead and close this. And then what you want to do, and you can just zoom out a little bit if you want to see more. You want to right click and ungroup. And you can also ungroup up here in the upper right. But I'd like to right click and ungroup the least amount of movement. And then what it'll do is put them into little groups here. So typically my files are not arranged by color. I do try to do that every once in a while, but they are arranged by mat. So meaning that each section will be 12 by 12 compatible. But with Cricut, that doesn't really matter because Cricut, 
once you get the file prepped and you click make it, it'll group everything by color anyways. So just to, to clarify that, so this is all one file, so you could just keep it as is and uh, I'll show you what happens when you click make it. But the one thing we do need to do, we potentially, you could do it on, over here, you could ungroup this if you want, but it's not necessary if you have a 12 by 12, but let's say you wanted to, well, it was eight and a half by 11, so it'll fit on eight and a half by 11. So if you just wanna use that, you could just do it all at once. You could also ungroup a little bit more if you want to. And we're gonna just do that, and I'll tell you why, it'll just make it easier. So this one doesn't have score lines. So if I highlight it and on the right, you'll see it's all one. Those are just cut lines. So this has, you can tell it has score lines because it's got this weird two little lines above that, the actual shape of the item that cuts out. So that, you'd want to highlight that, come up here in the upper left, click on score. Remember you have to have a score tool or score wheel for this. And so it's set to score. But the one other thing you need to do is click on the whole item there, the score line and the cut, and then attach. So you can right click and select attach or come down here and select attach right here. I'm gonna right click and attach. So if you didn't attach then the score lines would not show on the item and it wouldn't score properly. So let's do it with this one too. So I just left clicked on it to highlight it and then I went to the right to find it because it's highlighted. I'll take that top one and that's the score lines. We'll go ahead in the upper left, change it to score. And then we wanna make sure that we attach it. So I'm highlighting the whole thing and you could do it here or over here and click attach. So those are the only two things that have score lines. So at this point, you just wanna go ahead and get your paper and start to make it. So let's go ahead and click make it. And I don't have uh, my maker hooked up right now, but you'll see that it places the color, um, the, I'm sorry, the mats by color. So you should be familiar with this unless you're new to Cricut. Um, so you can go ahead and move them around if you have a smaller piece of paper and wanna conserve paper but you can see all the different elements and we'll go to the, where the cards are. And you can see it places it on here. So let's say you had it, you could always state to be eight and a half by 11. Remember you can do that. So I just wanna make sure people know that they can do that. I primarily use, uh, I, I actually primarily use 12 by 12, but you could always do that as well and it should fit on there. If it doesn't, usually you can trick it to fit on there. So like here, I put it in two, crazy cricket. So I'll just tell you a little tip in here before we move on. So I'm gonna go here. If I highlight all these now and I click attach, you see it's 7.7 .7 by 9.7. .7, so it's like within the guidelines of a letter. If you attach, the whole thing and hit make it. You'll notice you'll come over here and the um, dashed, it'll all be there. So you see the dashed lines, it says that's a score and there's a cut. But um, now if I go eight and a half by 11, it'll fit there. So that's just a little trick in addition to this video, if you didn't know about it. So you can kind of force it rather than move everything all manually. So anyways, we know that the score lines are there. And then, so basically the, the purpose of the complete file, let me go ahead and cancel out of this, is just to make it easier for you so you don't have to do several uploads. So in the past, you'd had to upload like every individual file. And this is a file with only two files, so it's not a big deal, but, um, now, if you use the complete files, you can just do one file, ver verify the size using the width and the PDF file, and then you can go ahead and organize, attach score lines, score, all that fun stuff, and be done with it much quicker than having to continue to just upload all these individual files. So I hope you liked that. Um, if you did, please give me a little thumbs up on the video, and I so appreciate you supporting me, and thank you for watching.